Okay, time for another new batch. Um, again, making room in our freezer and shopping the sales. So these items, of everything in here, we've only done one of them so far. So let me show you what we got. Now, this top one is packed pretty high, so I'm not gonna pull it out, but it has, other, it has a combination of other stuff I'll show you. So this, we have two trays of chopped broccoli. Um, Smith's, my local Kroger Foods, had their frozen broccoli on sale super cheap for the big bags. So I got a couple of those and uh, we're gonna freeze dry the broccoli. Again, most of the times I get the fruits and vegetables from Thrive because it's a higher quality, higher nutritional value, better flavor and stuff. But when the stores have a really, really good sale, that's when it's worth it to me to go ahead and get some and freeze dry ourselves. So we have these two trays of the chopped broccoli. This tray is mushrooms, which again, these are just sliced mushrooms. I got these from Smith's, um, the Kroger brand. They were clearance down for like 99 cents a container. So I bought a few containers and I think I ended up buying five containers. So $5 is what it's gonna cost me to have all these freeze dried mushrooms. So this top tray is about two thirds mushrooms and one third broccoli. Um, but it, it's the broccoli was packed kind of tight, so I had to kind of squeeze it in there. Once it freeze dries, it'll shrink down, it'll be fine. But um, this last one is crinkle cut, crinkle cut sliced carrots. Um, we have done carrots before, and we love these crinkle cut ones, especially in our um, Thai chicken curry that we make. We love those. So uh, we wanted to make sure we had plenty of those. Now, Everything is pre-frozen, so I started the machine up for, it, it's actually kind of cold because it's getting to be winter and it's a cold day. Um, so I had the machine started early and uh, it gave it about a half hour to kind of, I say warm up, but essentially cool, <laughs> cool down um, until it got to about freezing temperatures and then I added my trays because these are all pre-frozen. So, um, the broccoli and the carrots were frozen when I bought them from the store. So I had, those were easy, just open the bag, dump them on the tray, pop them in the freezer to keep them frozen. Uh, or I mean, if I, my machine was ready yesterday, I could have put them right in the machine. Um, but the mushrooms weren't, they weren't frozen. So I put those on a tray, froze them with, you know, the others that were staying frozen and uh, overnight so they get good and frozen. And so now I could do them all together as a frozen batch. So I'm hoping these don't take too long. So I'm gonna put here, pre-frozen. I did, oh, okay, <laughs> made me panic because it turned off. My temperature's at 21 degrees. So it says, the freeze dryer is working correctly. The refrigeration condenser may turn on and off until you load the food and press continue. Okay, so we're good. So I'm gonna hit continue because I did close the drain valve. Now it's gonna kick right back on and it's gonna do its thing. So um, hopefully this is a pretty quick batch where things are pre-frozen, it always makes it a lot faster. So there we go. All right, I added extra time to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, so I, I didn't wanna have to worry about it uh, ending in the middle of the night or late at night. So I add, just added enough dry time to go through the night. So we're at, yeah, 45 hours, but I, I added on like 12 hours, so not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and open our green valve. And I'm sure these are, I'm sure they've had more than enough time for, cause this isn't carrots, mushrooms, and broccoli. They're all kind of airy, right? So they're not super dense. They shouldn't take too long. Snack, crack the pop. Not too much ice too. That's one thing I've noticed. You can tell how much moisture was in the food by the level of ice. Oh yeah, nice and dry mushrooms. Nice, this is the, oh the mushrooms, this was the one with the big broccoli in the back. So, yep, nice and dry broccoli. More broccoli. Oh, this is gonna be such a nice addition to our food storage stuff. And there's our crinkle cut carrots. Love it! All right, I'm gonna bag it up. All right, so it's Christmas season and it's crazy. So I'm gonna do a quick review by myself. <laughs> 
because my husband's schedule is crazy, almost as crazy as mine. So let me show you how these turned out. Um, now broccoli, I'm not sure, I don't know if we've done broccoli yet or not, but let's see if I can, as you can tell, like with anything freeze dried, look at that. It's just, they're just airy. They always remind me of like styrofoam balls or something. So, okay, they're gonna be dry. I should have brought some water in here. All right. <laughs> Definitely strong, bro <laughs> strong broccoli flavor. It's good though. Um, they're different. Sorry. <laughs> they very, like eating them dry like this, they're good. It tastes like broccoli. It tastes really good. If you like broccoli, um, which I do, uh, very, it has that, has that fresh flavor to it, you know, instead of like a, I don't know, like a cooked bro. It doesn't taste like cooked broccoli. Like it has a really good fresh flavor to it. Um, because it is so like airy and light, it's kind of cool because you could eat these like a crunchy little snack. You might need a cup of water or something to drink with it because it does absorb all the moisture out of your mouth. But um, the thing I love about these is even though this broccoli, okay, I snapped off that piece there, but even though the broccoli wasn't cooked, it's so light and airy. You can, like when you rehydrate it, if you add it to something, it's almost instant because it's, it's almost like it's cooked once you rehydrate it, unless you're eating it dry, because it's just so light and airy. It's really cool, I like that. So then we have our carrots. Now this, this is just, these are my personal favorite. Um, they're, they're like the crinkle cut sliced carrots. Um, they just, we get them in the freezer section. Okay, there we go. So you can see they just snap, kind of like a chip, like a thick chip, I guess. And again, now, these have a little more bite to them. Um, a little more dense, not as airy as the broccoli. But again, you have that fresh carrot taste. Really good. Um, you could, if, especially if you like carrots, actually, and it's not real strong, strong carrot flavor. Hmm. Like, I still, <coughs> that broccoli dried my mouth out. I still have some of the broccoli taste in my mouth, but um, so compared to the broccoli, maybe I should have started with the carrot. The carrot's a lot more mild, um, but this would be like a good travel snack or something to just munch out of, just like, like chips, but it's healthy. Um, last, we have, these were just the sliced mushrooms. Now these, these are almost kind of a spongy texture on the outside, but they are fully dried. Um, but they, you see how easy it snapped. Um, so it, they, uh, they almost, they're just, they're like a soft styrofoam, if that makes sense. Like anyhow. Okay. Now they use, when you eat these, they go chewy almost instantly. Instead of like the broccoli and carrots, they like crumble into a powder and then a paste in your mouth, kind of. The mushrooms don't do that. They go like chewy, which is, I mean, that's typical. Mushrooms are more chewy like that anyways, right? So, so I like all three of those. I think all three of those uh, freeze dried very well. Um, I'm going, I, I will most likely do more of those three because those are kind of some good staple, healthy staple food ingredients. Um, the only one, I don't think of the mushrooms, I would just sit there and munch on. The carrots and the broccoli, I could see those being really healthy, just like travel snack or just a munchy snack. Mushrooms, I don't think I would do that, but they're still like, they're good. They would be excellent to have in your food storage because they're shelf stable now, right? Um, so yeah, I will probably do all three of these again some more in the future.